Finally, after months of frustration on both sides, Real Madrid appears ready to offload Gareth Bale, with the Welsh winger headed for Los Angeles FC in Major League Soccer. In other elite player news, Paris Saint-Germain seems prepared to keep Neymar by offering the world's most expensive transfer a lucrative contract extension, as it did with Kylian and Bob not long ago. For Neymar, this would reportedly be a five-year deal. As the big breakaway edge is closer for Bale, who can soon put any troubles firmly behind him, he and Neymar seem to be taking different decisions, with one seeking a fresh challenge and the other staying put. Yet, with discontent never far away from both players, they each represent the same curious reality within super clubs today, which has been growing in relevance for a while, that money is virtually boundless, and what it brings is never enough. Combined, Real and PSG have spent well over 300 million euros, 317 million dollars, in upfront fees for the players mentioned, plus much more in wages. In Neymar's situation, no team has paid more for a recruit than PSG did for the Brazilian in 2017, whisking him away from Barcelona for 222 million euros, 234 million dollars. For all their goals and accolades, critical perceptions have continued to surface. For Bale, they have often been over his lack of game time and supposed struggles to adapt to real. For Neymar, his brilliance has not propelled Paris Saint-Germain to a first Champions League honor, which has drawn criticism. And, of course, there is the expectation that when flush teams invest boldly, anything but the best is insufficient. As Diario has wrote earlier this month, a purse, Spanish, seems to have fallen over the majority of signings costing over 100 million euros, 106 million dollars, of which there have been 12 so far. Neymar heads this small but presumably growing band, followed by, that's right, another PSG player, strike partner and bop. That can't just be a coincidence. With big bets come high pressure, scrutiny and no room for error. It practically dooms a player from the start. Especially in Bale's case, all this poses a question, 